Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome to my Nordstrom sale video for 2023. I am so excited for today's video and I hope that if you're here it's because you love the Nordstrom sale as much as I do. I've been covering the Nordstrom sale for, I don't know, 9-10 years now and it is my favorite sale of the year. I know Prime Days is going on as well and I do love Prime Days so much but Nordstrom just has that soft spot in my heart because it's all mainly clothes. You know, I love clothes. I love shopping for clothes. You guys know. And I love to save a boatload of money on new fall fashions and help you guys save some money too. So Icon Level started shopping yesterday. My tiers start shopping today. I'm Ambassador. Obviously, I made this video prior to today. I'm actually probably in the store right now shopping the sale, but I wanted to get a video up today so that I can preview with you what they have online, show, share with you some things that are my tried and trues that I absolutely love, and also show you kind of what's on my wish list and what I think are the good bargains as far as beauty, clothes, shoes, and housewares. So let's jump right in with what is always my favorite deal in the Nordstrom sale because it is the biggest, the best, deal that you can get anywhere on this item and it is the New Face microcurrent device. They actually have both the brand new New Face Trinity Plus and the brand new New Face Mini Plus. You can save $130 on the New Face Trinity and you can save $80 on the New Face Mini Plus. So it is an amazing deal. This is one of my all-time favorite anti-aging at-home devices because it really works and I see the results right away. The results are more temporary than other things, but the immediate difference that I see in the tightness and the firmness of my skin and also the little lift that I get for my hooded eyes and for my jaw and for my cheeks, it is always amazing to me when I see it right in front of my eyes in the mirror. You know, if you already have a new face, maybe you don't need to get the new one. One of the main differences is that it has a new power boost button and it gives you 25% more uh, power to the microcurrent for your entire treatment. And I gotta say, I've really noticed the difference with the power boost that it really helps to like lift my eyes even better. It comes with a small bottle of the conducting gel, a small bottle of the conducting serum, and a brush to put it on with. That is $265 for that bundle, which is an amazing deal. And then the mini bundle comes with I think the same things, yep, and it retails for $165. All right, let's go over my other favorite beauty deals. Revitalash is always in the Nordstrom sale. It's usually a two-pack of the Revitalash Lash Conditioner. It's my Lash Growth Serum. I love it. This year, they're not offering a two-pack of the Lash Growth Conditioner. They're offering a two-pack that contains one tube of the lash growth and one tube of the brow growth. I believe the formula is the same thing. It's just that one gives you a tiny little brush like this and the other one gives you more of a doe foot applicator for your brows. I've tried so many other lash and brow growth serums. I always go back to Revitalash. At this point, I'm never switching away from Revitalash. The Orbe deal that they have this year is so good. It's a package that has a full size of the Orbe Gold Lust Shampoo and Conditioner, along with a mini travel size of the shampoo and the conditioner. I love this so much. I didn't want to love it because it's so expensive. You get all four products for $102. It's like getting a whole shampoo for free. There are a couple of makeup deals that I'm really excited about. One is on the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. You get a two pack of these. You could keep one for yourself, give one to your daughter, your mom, whoever loves this setting spray. This is by far the best setting spray I've ever used. It doesn't dry out my skin. It's not full of SD alcohol and it actually does make my makeup last longer. One of my favorite things that I ever bought in the Nordstrom sale, it is a big ticket item, but I was so happy to get it at a discount. I've never regretted this purchase is my Ricky mirror. Ricky loves Ricky. This is a lighted makeup mirror. If you are getting older and you're having a hard time seeing when you're applying your makeup, this will help Help you so much. The main reason I love it so much is the magnetized 5x mirror that comes with it. Most mirrors that have like an extra mirror, they suction on and it's really hard to get them on and off and you never get a big mirror like this. This really helps me to see exactly where I'm putting everything and it has made doing my makeup so easy. I reach for this about 
10 times during each makeup session. So the normal price on the Ricky Mirror is $225. It's in the Nordstrom sale for $154. That's $70 off. They have a bunch of T3 hair tools in the sale. My favorite is the T3 Hot Air Brush. I love this. It comes with two different attachments and they just pop right off. So there's a round brush and it blows hot air right through this. And then it has a flat paddle brush and I love both these attachments. You know, usually I do use my Dyson, but if you're never gonna buy a Dyson, then this is like the next best thing because this paddle brush is very similar to the Dyson paddle brush and I love this round brush. All right, let's talk about jeans next. There are so many pairs of jeans that I have to recommend for you to hear today. The first bunch of jeans are jeans that I own already. I love them and so I highly recommend them. So the first three or four styles are all Wit and Wisdom jeans. This is a great brand of jean. They're under $100 to start with, but in the sale, they're all $58.99. So same price point, no matter which style of these you get. So the first one is the Itty Bitty Bootcut Jean. These jeans, they actually are offering in two different washes. This year, they have the Dark Wash, which is beautiful, classic, elegant wash that you can dress up for any occasion. And then they have a little bit more of a distressed wash. And I really love this wash. I bought these last year and they're great. They're my favorite of the two washes is the one with a little bit of distressing. So this is such a beautiful cut. It's not a super skinny jean. It actually flares the tiniest bit from the knee down to the ankle. It's fitted through the thigh and fitted through like the waist and the hips, but it's a very stretchy jean. It fits very well and it has this little absolution panel in the waistband, but it's not like tight like a girdle. It just kind of holds everything in there. So if you have any tummy issues, these are gonna be the most flattering jeans on you, but they're not uncomfortable. They don't, they're not restrictive. You know, you can eat. Those will both be linked. Then this other pair I bought last year in the sale and oh, they're so good. They are their girlfriend jeans and they have a little bit of dist distressing. Nothing is ripped where you can see any skin through. They have a little cuff at the ankle. They're a nice loose fit through the leg, but they're not baggy. They don't look like, you know, messy or anything. Um, but they're just a really great looking jean. The rise on these, it's not too high, it's not super low, it's just a nice mid-rise on most of the Wit & Wisdom jeans. Then they have another pair of Itty Bitty Boot Cut that has a little bit more of a lighter wash and instead of a sewn hem, it's got a released distressed hem, so it's a little fringy at the bottom. Those are new this year and those look great, also $58.99. So that's all the Wit & Wisdoms then. Another pair of jeans that I own are my Levi's Wedgie jeans. Jeans. These are my favorite jeans. I wear them all the time. I actually wore them to Nordstrom last year to do my try on. So I have some footage of me in a lighter wash version of these jeans. So the jean that they have this year, there's just one wash and they're a very light wash. Normally $98 for the sale, $65.99. And now for the jeans that I'm interested in purchasing. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have some of these in the store when I'm there today so I can try them on. But the first one that I really, really am interested in are a pair of mother jeans. They're so expensive normally, they're $268, but in the sale they're $178.99. And I have been eyeballing mother jeans for about five years now and have never pulled the trigger, but this style I just love. They're called Hopeless Romantic. They do have a little rip in the knee and they just look like the perfect jeans for me. Hopefully they'll be good. Then I really like the look of these Madewell jeans. It's a black jean with a button fly and the buttons are exposed. And I just think the exposed buttons look really cute. It's a straight leg crop jean. These are $89.99 in the sale, normally $138. And then there's this pair of frame jeans that I'm really, really interested in because do you remember these jeans? I bought these in Nordstrom sale last year. They have the huge rips in the knees. I'm trying to duplicate these jeans, but without the rips, because sometimes, you know, the rips just aren't appropriate. I want something without rips in the knees for more dress up occasions. And so these frame jeans look like they will fit the bill exactly. So these are more expensive. They're $169.99 on sale down from $260. So I'm hoping they have these so I can try them on and see. And then the last pair that I wanted to look at is this pair of Good Americans, also for that wide leg jean look without any rips. These are $99.99 on sale and they're normally $149. All right, something else that I always love to get at the Nordstrom sale and can show you because I have all these things are the Zella Workout Wear brand of leggings. They make the best leggings. Okay, the first pair I wanna share is the Zella Soft Slim Pocket Jogger. I got these last year in the sale. 
I love these. I wear them every day. <laughs> They're like my pulling them on in the morning and taking my dogs out for a walk legging. But I wore them on a trip and my girlfriend was like, oh my God, what leggings are those? I love them. They're so flattering. And I'm like, they are. And they're so comfortable too because they're not like a workout legging where they're like skin tight. They give you a little bit of room to move in them, but they're not like a jogger either where there's loose and the fabric is so soft. So they are $45.99 in the sale, normally $69. Then there are the Zella joggers. I bought a pair of these last year. They are also so soft and so beautiful. Probably gonna get a black pair of these this year. And with the Zella leggings, be sure to size down because I find the Zella things run a little bit roomy. And then they have just their regular pocket leggings, the 7 8 pocket leggings. And I love this lavender color. It is just so pretty. And these are the most comfortable leggings, best for working out in. All right, let's talk about sweaters next. Next, I love getting some new sweaters for the fall in the Nordstrom sale every year. Most of the sweaters on here are things that would be new to me, so I don't have footage of me in them, but they're the things that caught my eye. The ones I picked to show you, all under 100, a lot of them under 50. So this first one is a Caslon sweater. It looks really cute. I love this lavender color, like the V-neck. looks very slouchy, easy to wear, great for fall. And the Caslon stuff is all really, really soft. So I think I'm gonna try to purchase this one if I can. Caslon also runs large, so if you're getting it, I would size down. I usually get an extra small or an extra, extra small in Caslon, also in Halogen. This next sweater I actually own. I bought it in Nordstrom sale last year. I love this sweater. It's a real good one for fall into winter. It's more of a really cold weather sweater because it's thick and it's very, very warm. I love the little tie belt detail at the side and the faux wrap, and it's just really easy to get in and out of. I have it in gray. I'm not sure if they're offering it in gray this year. Most of these things are available in a few different colors. All right, the next sweater is a Paxson sweater. It's also lavender. It has some wide ribbing on it, a v-neck. It looks just very slouchy and relaxed. Looks right up my alley. Under $30 price point. Looks really excellent to me. Here's a sweater from BP. I bought a BP sweater in last year's sale. Very similar to this. Instead of a zip, it had buttons and a little collar, but kind of the same look. And it was one of my most worn sweaters for the entire winter. So I think I might pick up the white version of this this year. Then this next sweater is a tiny little cropped cardigan. I'm really into the cropped cardigans and cardigans are really big this year. So if you're shorter, there are a lot of crop things this year, so they would work for you. Also under $30 on that. Next up are the little halogen tanks that I wear under like a sweater like that. Everyone's always asking me like, what tank do you wear under that? These are the tanks that I wear, the halogen tanks. They come in about four different colors. They're $15 normally, marked down to $9.99. Very comfortable, easy to wash. There's a long halogen cardigan. This looks very lightweight, very soft. I like the simplicity of this. It's got pockets. It looks really nice, $51.99. Then there's of course the Barefoot Dream sweaters. They've got a few of them in the sale. This one is the one that I bought last year. It is so soft and so beautiful. I love the length on it. I love the pockets. It's just a perfect thing to like snuggle up in and that'll be in a few different colors. Next is this Vero Moda sweater that looks like kind of a similar one to the Waif sweater, except this one looks like the fabric's a little bit thinner. So if you run hot or you're having hot flashes, then this looks like a thinner version with that little tie belt on the side. And then this last little BP sweater, I just love the color of it. I thought it was just so, like such a nice pop of color for the fall. Under $30, looks very soft and nice. Next, I've got a couple of plaid shirts. The first one is from Free People. This looks like such a great shirt. I love this plaid, this kind of periwinkle blue with the gold and yellow through it. It just looks like a perfect blouse type shirt for casual days. And then we have this Caslon plaid shirt, which I think four years ago they had the Caslon plaid shirts and they were the softest, nicest plaid shirts. I still have the one I bought then, but every year I was kind of wishing that they would have it back and they have it back this year. All right, next up are tops. This first one looks really cute for like date night. It comes in this baby blue. It's like a one shoulder, but instead of trying to figure out what kind of bra you're gonna wear with it, it's got a strap. So if you have something with a clear strap or a nude strap, a really thin one, you could definitely wear a bra with this. It just looks really super cute and at under $40, like bargain. <laughs> the next top is the top that I'm wearing. The picture I have of it is in black. They're offering it in black and white, and I think one pattern this year. They have these every year. This is just a really terrific basic shell. So it's got a V in the front, and it also has a V in the back. 
and I love the edging on this. It's got this really pretty like sheer edge. So it's just like the perfect tank for wearing under blazers or under sweaters, but that just has a little something extra. It's perfect for business. It's perfect for your slightly more dress up occasions. It's a really great price point at $31.99 in the sale. Then there's this treasure and bond blouse. I love the color and the pattern on this blouse. It just looks really pretty, really easy to wear, great color for fall. Then the next one is definitely like a sexy date night top, would be good for the fall, good for the winter. It's from Halogen. It has this beautiful cutout right here at the collarbone, and then it's got long sleeves and you can tuck it in. Looks really nice at under $60. All right, let's do shoes next. There are a few shoes for now that I'm interested in getting. The first one are these Bionic flip-flops. I own these Bionic flip-flops already in two different colors. Can I just show you what good quality the Bionics are? This is my seven-year-old Bionic flip-flop. It's still in perfect shape and I wear this constantly. Bionic is really the only sandal brand that I can wear that doesn't hurt my feet and doesn't make my plantar fasciitis come back. So I always buy the Bionic. So this is just a different version of these. Under $60 for these is a great price point. So I'm probably gonna grab those. I thought this pair of Corky's sandals look kind of cute and interesting. I hope they have them in the store so I can try them on. Then there are these Dolce Vita platform shoes that I really love the look of. They've got this twisted ribbed strap in this taupey tan color. I think these shoes are beautiful. A couple pairs of sneakers. One I wanted to recommend to you guys if you haven't tried the OnCloud sneakers yet. Oh my gosh, they are so good. I have my on clouds here to show you. Sorry, they're a little dirty <laughs> because I wear them constantly and I made the mistake of wearing them when I was gardening, but you know, I wear them gardening, walking my dogs, just living life. But they also look so cute, just like with jeans, with skirts, with sneakers. And the thing that I love about them is they are so lightweight because they have all these cutouts here in the sole. So you're not carrying all that extra weight around and they literally are like, walking on a cloud, thus the on cloud, and they come in the cutest colors and they are so comfy. Then there are these Dolce Vita sneakers. I just think these look so cool. I really wanna try these on, hopefully get them. $79.99 from $125. All right, so for fall booties, my top pick for this year are these Steve Maddens. They are a taupe suede. They don't have a super high heel. This would be just for like every day walking around with jeans. I like that the ankle on the boot comes up a little bit higher. They just look really comfortable and really wearable to me. So I'm really hoping they have those in store so I can try them on. If they don't, I will definitely be ordering them. The second one is this pair of Blondo booties. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. I really like the idea of the Blondos because they're all fully waterproof. That strip of tan right at the edge of the sole, the little buck Mm, these are just perfect. They have a little bit of a heel, but not too much. And then the next one that I'm really, really, really hoping to get as well are these Mark Fisher boots. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. They're kind of a more dressy version of those Steve Maddens that I just showed. They're a little bit higher of a heel. They have a little platform. And I'm sure that all these boots come in a few different colors, white, brown, taupe, black, you know, things like that. But I'm just showing you the color that I'm thinking of getting. Then there are these booties from Soft. They're under $100. They have something like this in the sale every year. These are the ones that I bought last year. The only difference it appears to be that the ones this year have a zipper. I wore them a ton in the fall. I love a little boot like this, the soft booties. They really are soft. The footbed is all cushioned. Ooh, it's really cushioned. Good arch support. It's got the nice rubber sole. It's an awesome little booty. So if you had wanted to pick up a pair of those, they are under $100. I have my eye on three pairs of knee-high boots. This first one is very 70s, but I love it. This isn't the only colorway that it comes in, but I love this kind of rainbow of neutral, tanny, whitish colors on this. I just think this is the grooviest boot. I'm so excited about it. And I'm imagining kind of an all white outfit, like of cream and white and off-white and taupe, like head to toe with a really cool coat or something. I don't know where I'm wearing this outfit, but it is giving me life right now and I'm so psyched to find it at the Nordstrom sale. And then here's just a more basic pair of black suede boots, which really is like much more wearable. A little bit more expensive though at $174.99. These are the Sam Edelman boots, but they look really comfortable and the Sams tend to fit my foot really well. Then the last one is this Steve Madden boot. Very, very pretty boot. Steve Maddens I tend to have to size up because their toe boxes are always a little bit narrow for me. 
So I'll try these on, not sure how it's gonna go with that, but if you were looking for a really just classic pair of knee-high boots, this is a really pretty pair at a really good price point. Then there's two more pairs of shoes that I'm interested in. One is this Vionic Slingback Pump. I don't really wear pumps so much, but every once in a while I wish I had one. And that Vionic is making this beautiful shoe. I'm like, oh wow, look at the curves on that. Look at the heel on that. I mean, it's just, it's just a gorgeous shoe. I have to see it in real life. I have to try it on. And for 80 bucks, marked down from 140, not bad. This last pair is a pair of rain boots from Sorrel. They just made me giggle. They made me so excited about them. I love this chartreuse green sole. Go figure, it just tickled me pink or tickled me green. So I wanna look at these. I'm hoping they have them in the store. They're a little spendy still at 140, kind of impractical for a rain boot, but I do love a Sorrel and I don't know, they're cute. <laughs> Let's do jackets, blazers, and overcoats next. So the first jacket is more of an athletic wear jacket from Zella. I really love the look of this. I love how it's like the shiny fabric on the body of the jacket and then like a matte black sleeve. It just looks like really tough and really like killer, but I'm hoping that that has a little bit of like padding in it so it'll be warmer than like your standard workout jacket, right? Here's a wobbly shacket. I love a good wobbly shacket. This one looks like it's a little bit longer than the other ones I have. I love this black and white window pane plaid. Price is amazing at under $35, hoping to snag one of those. Thread and Supply always brings it every year with the wobbly fleece in something that ends up being a, such a popular item. So if you're interested in that, definitely jump on it as soon as you can, probably will sell out. The next one is a blazer that just knocked my socks off. I just think this blazer looks so beautiful on this model and in this color. I hope it will look this beautiful on me. And it looks so well made and just so beautifully tailored. I just really wanna kinda of get my hands on it and feel it. It looks like it must be a super fine corduroy, but it looks so like velvet in the picture that it just is like doing magic things with my eyeballs. All right, this next jacket I bought last year in the sale in the olive green color. They're not offering it in the olive green this year. It looks like it comes in black and white. I think the white, the ivory, Egret color is beautiful. I bought the extra, extra small in this. This runs very, very large. It's a longer jacket, but it has these really cool zips on the side at the bottom so you can like vent if you need to. It's the perfect weight for fall and spring. And every time I wore this jacket, I got so many compliments on it. And then the next one is a Zella, just a plain old hoodie in a nice lavender color. It's probably gonna be super buttery soft. Now for the coats, oh my gosh, you guys, I am so imagining myself in a plaid, long coat this year, like just going everywhere, looking so hip and stylish. This one is the one that I have my eye on. It's an Avec Les Fee coat in the rust plaid. It's uh, $159.99. It looks just like the perfect thing to throw over in the fall and just feels so folly. So, you know, gives you all the pumpkin spice vibes and everything. And then there's two more jackets. This is a faux leather jacket. It's not a crop jacket. It's a little bit longer. I just really love the styling on this. It's like a moto, but a longer moto. And I really like how this one looks. So hopefully they'll have that one in the store. And the last coat I actually have, I bought it at the end of the Nordstrom sale last year. This is like a really warm winter coat. It's by Sam Edelman. It does run large. And of course I have it in the olive, which they don't have this year. They have it in a sand color and in black, but it is just such a beautiful, well-made coat. And if you're going to anything that's like a little bit, you know, more dress up, it is the perfect coat for that. All right, let's do dresses next. I was so excited about the dresses because they have a ton of dresses that look really good and they're all under $100. So I was like, yes, I don't have any of these dresses. So I'll have to look at them and try them on in the store. I'm gonna do a dressing room try on. And if I get enough things together, I'll put up another video on Friday. I'll edit it together on Thursday, put it up on Friday for you guys so you can see what this, some of this stuff looked like on me. But the first dress, it's this maroon wrap dress. Just looks like my perfect dress. Like it's not too short, it's not too long. It doesn't have like a turtleneck but it doesn't have like no sleeves. Like, you know what? Dresses are so hard at this age and this is just like the perfect dress. It's just so pretty, $58.99, looks like a great price. There are a couple of CC dresses that look really, really cute. This looks like the same dress basically in two different colors, a slightly different price point. The green one's a little bit less, but I love the little ruffle at the bottom. They're very like feminine and girly. So if that's your speed, that could be a dress that you might be interested in. Okay, now this dress, oh my gosh, your dominatrix dress, <laughs> a full leather midi shirt dress with a belt. It looks so good. I kind of want to try it on. I'm like, where would I wear it? Like, I don't even know where I would wear it, but I just like it. So 
And this dress is really wearable, really practical. It's like a sweater dress because it's not a super clingy looking sweater dress. It looks like it would be great for the office. It's got a belt, little patch pockets, I don't know, buttons down the front. It just looked really cute and really wearable. Then they had a lot of different, I'm going to call them prairie-ish dresses, you know, ones with all the ruffles and all the tiers. I don't like you know, overboard on the ruffles. So I decided not to show you most of them. There are a lot of them. You can see them on my blog, but the one that I am going to show you is this Julia Jordan dress. It looks perfect for fall. It's in this pumpkin spice latte kind of color, orange with a pattern. It has a little bit of a ruffle on the sleeve. It does have a couple of tiers, but it doesn't look like they're really like big and poofy. Then there's this Sam Edelman dress. I love the fabric on this. There are actually two versions of this dress and they both have a big tie bow at the back so they can have a really big dramatic moment at the back of the dress and this one the bow is contrasting it's in black I just thought this was a beautiful beautiful dress if you have an occasion if you have a wedding to go to this would be a great dress for that then this next dress I think would be very flattering on a lot of different figures. It's got like a cowl neck and I love the color on it. This beautiful pop of teal satin. It's a midi dress, kind of a fit and flare. And then this little Chelsea 28 dress I thought was just so charming. I love the pattern on this one. I like the little cap ruffle sleeve, the square neckline. It does have a ruffle at the bottom, but it's not like, you know, tears and ruffles, just very kind of understated. And I like the price point on that one at under $60. I have more dresses linked on my blog. There's a bunch of sweater dresses that I have there. Just every category. I'm only showing you about half in this video of the things that I picked out that were good. So I'll leave that link in the info box below the video as well. If you're looking just for more dress recommendations, more sweaters, more tops, more jeans, more, just more of everything. For lingerie, the number one thing that I always recommend are these Notori panties. I love them. They are my go-to every single day underwear. Here's a pair of them now. I have them on now. They are the most comfortable underwear. They're cotton. You know, if you're just into like a plain old undies, these are the best ones. They have a nice amount of stretch, but they're never tight and constricting. Then there's this bra from Wakehole. This, the name of it is slightly different from a bra that I own, but it looks to me like the exact same bra, which is this bra here. And I love this bra because it doesn't have underwire and I never thought I would like a no underwire bra. I'm really an underwire girl. It does have boning over here on the side and that's why I think I like it because it kind of holds everything up and helps to make the girls look good. And there is another pair of underwear that I'm interested in trying. These ones aren't cotton. They're more like, uh, I don't even know what they're made out of. They're more like stretchy stuff, but they look cute. $11.90 a pair. I think I'm going to try those. And then they have these Nordstrom no-show socks that I'm interested in. $5.99 for a three-pack. Then there is jewelry. There's a lot of really great jewelry, but the things that I wanted to recommend are the things that I mainly own and love already that you see on me every day. So this ring is one of my favorites of all time and you guys love it. So many of you have bought this ring. It's just very subtle and very beautiful, but very sparkly. The other ring I wear on this hand is also a Monica Venator ring. I love her jewelry. It's just so beautiful, but subtle, but dainty, and mm, there's just something about it. And then this necklace I just happened to buy a few weeks ago when I was in Nordstrom and I noticed it in the sale. So I'm like, ah, oh, dang it, I could have got it on sale. But anyway, I've been wanting one of these like kind of paper clip oval link necklaces for a bit. When I bought it, it was $78. Now it's $49.99. So here is that one. I just love kind of the look of that paperclip oval link. And then I'm going to show you this necklace. I'm wearing this one because they have a similar necklace to this in the sale. It is the lowercase letters, but it's basically this CZ alphabet necklace. And then the last two things that I wanted to talk about are for the home and they are blankets. I think I'm going to buy another Barefoot Dreams blanket because I switched out my bedding and the Barefoot Dreams blanket that I have doesn't go with my bedding anymore. So I saw this one that is more of a silvery gray and it's so, so pretty. Uh, so I want to get this one. It is $125.99 from $167. So that's an expensive blanket, but I think it's going to be just so pretty on my bed. But a very inexpensive blanket that I always recommend to you guys is this Kenny Bunk Throw. This is a really great great little blanket. It's got these like braided tassels. It's just a big plush throw. And this is $19.99. It's really big. 
I mean, it's not expensive normally. And this comes in so many colors. I have it in the turquoise. It also comes in like white, peach, light, seafoam green. So that's the last thing that I had to recommend in today's video. So I hope I provided you with a lot of good recommendations, good ideas, helped you to narrow down what you were thinking of getting in the Nordstrom sale this year. Again, shopping links are in the description box below the video. So happy shopping, everybody. I hope you get everything on your wish list. So so I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.